Alrighty. So for 25 days of tarot, I've been unboxing a new deck every day on my channel. I've not done it yet today. It's usually at 11, 11 a.m. I'm doing it tonight instead. So the brand new deck that nobody has seen today, I did just do a complete unboxing of this deck where I flip through every single card so you can look at it if you're a weird tarot nerd like me um, on my new channel. Again, link is on my main page. All right. It's um, speaking spooky with the Strega. It's just going to be me talking about weird witchy stuff. So if you want to see the unboxing and my review of this deck, that's there. Um, so here it is. All right. It's the TV series Tarot. I don't watch TV anymore. Like, really? I don't have time for it. Um, but I used to, you know, watch a lot of it. I did recognize some of the stuff on this deck. All right, first of all, there's the box. There's the one side, and then there's the other. I got the magician here. I recognized some, all right, of the, you know, shows and stuff on there, but not most of them. I am running a contest on my other page. The person who can name in the comments the most shows on these cards because y'all the guidebook all right it does not tell you who, who these people are so i'm just like all right cool i wish i could look up that show and like see what the point of this is but i can't so there's a contest for a free general reading a full length one which is 75 dollars usually so the person that can name the most tv shows from the cards and i do a full flip through there so there's 78 cards so the person that gets the most out of the 78 they get to um, get a free general reading from me. So go over to my other page and do that. I'll post the details about this on my main page later. Um, but yeah, because I really want to know, you know, what the cards are. So help me out. Help a girl out. What's up? All right, let's get to these readings. We're going to do with this deck, since I figured it's a TV series deck, um, I want to do like what like obviously most of y'all are here because you're in some kind of drama about something i want to know the story that your person is telling people about you all right because there's always i used to be a litigator for 10 years i was like a divorce attorney and a civil litigator and there's always two sides to every story you know actually there's three you know there's yours and the truth so you know what your version is i want to see what their version is and what they're telling everyone about you So you can make the judgment call whether or not they're being truthful or not. All right. Let's take a look at Sagittarius's person. <clears throat> what is going on Ooh. with Sagittarius's person? Oh, my nose is itching. You're going to be getting a visitor, Sag. <clears throat> or they think you're going to be coming to see them. Whenever your nose itches, you're usually getting an unexpected visitor. <clears throat> also i got through like all other 11 signs and you guys were last and like my voice started like going downhill hard <laughs> person has a hard time speaking all right what's going on with sagittarius um person what is the main theme about the story they're telling everyone about what happened between the two of them? The main theme is the Ten of Pentacles. They thought that there was a commitment. That's what they're telling everybody. What they're talking about, you know, to everybody, Sag, is that, you know, they thought that this was forever. They thought that this was the person you were going to marry. They're also telling everyone that you're uppity. All right, I want to tell you that. This is Downton Abbey energy on this card here. <clears throat> what they're saying about you is the Ten of Pentacles, that you're financially stable, that you're financially abundant, that you've got everything you need, that you know, you're doing good for yourself. They're also saying that you're still committed. What is this Ten of Pentacles about? Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're saying that you didn't want to work on the commitment to a pentacles. They were unsure here. One of you was, all right. All pentacles showing up. Might be dealing with an earth sign. What shows here is that somebody was, you know, what they're saying to everybody is that somebody was confused about whether or not they should put effort into this. Somebody was like on the fence. 
you guys were in a re they're saying that you guys were like you know a thing but I, I feel like they're saying that they didn't know how to please you they felt like they could never make you happy yeah son they felt like they could never make you happy at the bottom of all that is the sun all right that's the happiest card in the tarot that's you know joy um warmth they didn't know how to make that happen here <clears throat> justice in reverse yeah why why are they telling people that or why do they you know why are they feeling that way that they couldn't make sag happy it was like there was no pleasing you energy like i feel like they're like the maid here there's an energy of like one of y'all like you know waiting hand and foot on the other it's like an energy of somebody feeling like they were better than the other person in this relationship what else are they saying? Ooh, Hierophant. <clears throat> Jesus. Hierophant with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups. Sides, they want to marry you. All right. And quickly. They also want to do right by you. They want to apologize. They're telling everybody that they dropped the ball here, literally. Like, here's what happened, right, in the recent past. They got, you know, two pentacles. Like, what do I do with it? Do I throw my hat in the ring or do I hold my pentacle to myself? What was on the line in the middle of everything was, you know, abundance, stability, commitment, wealth, prosperity. What did they choose to do with that? They didn't take the deal. Look, the deal was offered. Somebody was trying to, you know, do it. They didn't take it. Six in reverse. They didn't do it. Now what they're talking about right now Hierophant, Knight of Wands, Six of Cups. Not what they're talking about is they you know, they want to play by the rules. They do want a commitment. They do want to do you know the right thing. Um, they do want to you know be normal, and they want to do it quickly with the Knight of Wands. And why? Because Six of Cups. Look at these two people. First of all, they're both bleeding. They're kids, all right, and they're tending to each other here. They realize, all right, that you always had their back, that you were faithful, all right, that you were enlightened. They also really, really want to come back and like make up for something here. Where is the sixth cup here? One, two, three, four. There's one in his hand. Where's the sixth cup? Oh, it's sitting right next to her. <laughs> Y'all went through something, all right? Like uh, like some kind of a battle. You see this? They're realizing that there was like some kind of a snap decision here. <laughs> Whatever this was, all right? It was... um. It was a really, um, how do you say it? <clears throat> it almost feels like a mini tower type moment. Ooh, what are you? Why are you facing up? Oh, he who must not be named as the King of Wands. He's perfect for the King of Wands, though. I, you know, I've got to give it to the author for that. There's, you know, it's a great embodiment of the King of Wands. Usually in reverse, all right, but whatever. Our former president, okay? this is what's going on here like that's what was hiding in the middle of everything you know that was literally like hiding in the middle of my deck i didn't even see it was like that they know what they want all right think about trump i have to be able to you know i'm a lawyer all right i can look at both sides that is my strong suit you know i can always see both sides and argue both sides what I can give this man credit for, all right? Because I'm trying to only speak positively. He was a shrewd businessman. If he wanted something, he was going to get it. It didn't matter how many times he was told no. It didn't matter how many times, you know, how ridiculous everything seemed. Everyone thought he was batshit, all right, when he said he was going to run for president. After just, you know, hosting like nine seasons of The Apprentice. Um, But look what happened. <clears throat> that is King of Wands energy. The King of Wands gets what he wants. Also, when the King of Wands doesn't get what he wants. 
you know, try to overthrow a government. <laughs> All right. It's like, uh, that's what that is. But he's upright here. So that's good. This person is dead set. All right. And I mean, dead set. And not only that, but they're saying that they want to come back and make amends for whatever this was that, you know, disrupted this connection. Also, I want to tell you, I feel like this is somebody that you've either known since childhood or that you um, instantly felt like there was some kind of a past life thing. This relationship feels old. Like this bond feels old. All right. It doesn't feel like um, this ain't no tender date. <clears throat> what they're talking about, all right, is like um, manning up, literally taking charge of the situation with a quickness, like charging in, you know, they know what their heart wants. What are they telling people that their heart wants? I want to know what they're so passionate about. They're talking about this. They're really motivated, all right, to do the right thing, to go back and make amends. It's almost like when somebody gets into AA and like the first thing you have to do is like call and apologize to all the people you were an ass to like when you were drunk. That's what this energy is. Like someone's seen the Hierophant, like someone's, you know, seen the light of the Lord or whatever this is right here. And you know, what do they want to, what, what happened when they got that epiphany? They, re you know, remember back to the Six of Cups where all this, you know, train wreck happened, where all of them are split, bare, you know, where their girl had to lay the cup down and he was bleeding. And like, there was this, you know, unnecessary battle or whatever, thinking about how you were there, all right, through all the hard times and everything. And when they start thinking about that and they have that emotion, um, the action that they want to take is the Knight of Wands. Him and the Knight of Swords are the two fastest in the deck. This one is fueled by instinct and desire. That's what they're urged to do, right? That's what their loins are telling them to do. <laughs> and the um, mind frame, all right, that he's in or the, you know, energy he's taking on while he's going on this mission is the king of wands. He knows what the hell he wants, all right? Whoever this person is, they know what the hell he wants. Three of wands on the bottom. They're not satisfied, so they're moving. They're realizing that, that this is all their fault, all right? I feel like you're dealing either with an earth or a fire sign. I feel like this person is an earth sign rising. And I feel like they're a fire sign moon. I'm getting like Aries moon. <sighs> huh. And like um, a, either a Taurus or a Capricorn rising. <clears throat> the energy I'm feeling, all right? All right, what are they all fired up about here though? Is this you that they're talking about? Elaborate more on whatever this is. What are they so passionate about right now? What have they seen the light about that they feel so urgent about going back and like correcting? What triggered them to like do right? I feel like whatever the Six of Cups energy is, you know, it triggered somebody to want to, you know, go be better or do better. <clears throat> also, somebody might have actually gotten arrested in this situation. I'm picking up on that energy of somebody, you know, was forced, all right, to see the light here some way. I, I picked up addiction first, but now it's more like arresting because this is like chips, I think. He's not in a uniform. Um, it's more like an undercover type thing. They didn't know they were dealing with a cop. Yeah, five of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody definitely, some of you definitely are dealing with somebody who just got busted. <clears throat> With the two of pentacles and then the six taking the money away they were trying to hustle all right to like get on solid ground here two of pentacles is my hustler card that's you know dope boy energy when i see that with the 10 that's somebody literally like flipping money trying to you know stack and the result of that was the six in the reverse they lost money they got it taken away five of pentacles in reverse is like irrecoverable loss you can't get it back and the, the masculine here is when it's all bruised up. And then all of a sudden, like, God's, like, staring at them. And, like, the cop is here. Like, these two, all right? Like, somebody, I feel it. Some of y'all got busted, all right? <clears throat> Had to go to court. And he looks kind of like a judge, okay? And a lot of y'all were there for this person when that happened. They remember that. Magician in reverse. They're sneaky, though. A lot of you are dealing with a hustler. I'm just gonna call it like I see it, Sag. Um, what are they telling people? What do they tell people about the reason why y'all are, you know, not on good terms right now? What are they telling? Queen of Wands in the reverse. These came out kind of sideways. Six of Swords, Emperor. 
you're definitely dealing with somebody with a heavy Aries placement. <coughs> Big time. This person's like, um, God, I'm just picking up hustler energy. I'm picking up like a, like a, like a 50 cent type energy, you know, like, like, a, like gangster energy. Um, <clears throat> All right, what they tell people about the reason why they broke up, you guys broke up. There's a lot of jealousy, okay? Not jealousy centered around somebody being the boss, okay? <laughs> um, the reason they broke up is because you got an emperor versus a queen of wands in reverse. <clears throat> you have a masculine and a feminine. It doesn't matter the gender, okay? Take it as it resonates. Somebody was trying to wear the pants. Somebody wanted to be in control. Somebody was very focused on coming up, you know, and um, establishing themselves. And that made somebody else jealous, or at least this person thought it did, all right? There's a perception of that. There's a, perce or a perception of one party being jealous of the other party's success. Six is swords in reverse. That's something they can't get over. They can't just, you know, glance it over like it didn't happen. And whatever this was, all right, that this person, all right, somebody was very insecure about the other person becoming independent or becoming an emperor or being able to be stable on their own. Somebody wanted the other party to be dependent on them for something. Whatever this was, all right, the idea of this person becoming an emperor and being able to stand on their own two feet here made this, you know, queen of wands really overly possessive, really jealous. This is what your person's telling people. So much so, all right, that there was like no getting away from that because every time it got brought up, it was conflict. That's Ragnar, all right, from the Vikings. One of the greatest, you know, warriors of all time. <clears throat> he was always, you know, going to other lands and conquering other things. He was always into some shit too, all right, with his wifey and everybody. He was always, you know, running from emotional problems. He'd just go conquer another world. Somebody, you know, didn't trust the other person to come back home when they were done going out conquering. Ragnar stayed, you know, in love with his first wife the whole series, pretty much. <clears throat> yes, they had ups and downs, whatever, but he always did love her. There was no trust here. Somebody thought that the second that someone else got, you know, successful, that the other party was going to be gone. It's like they felt like they were being used as a stepping stone is kind of what I'm feeling here. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. They were trying to hold somebody back. <clears throat> somebody wasn't excited, all right, about this person bossing up. Maybe because they were doing something careless, all right, to get that money. Somebody was, you know, juggling finances here, trying to get more money and ended up losing a lot. <clears throat> to be dealing with a gambler, all right, um, or just somebody who's just very fiscally irresponsible. Uh, this person like recklessly pursues money to the point where you know it's unhealthy sometimes criminal for some of you um also whoever this was that was trying to be the emperor they were so damn fixated on it all right that it made them a you know complete jerk because i can read this all like their energy too <clears throat> what they're telling people is that they were, you know, trying to be the boss, that they were, you know, trying to take charge of the situation, that they were trying to focus on becoming a whole, you know, human and getting their empire together when, you know, underneath all of that, because, you know, what they're showing is this major arcana. They're embodying the emperor on the outside to everybody. That's, you know, Taurus energy. That is second house. That is what they're showing in the real world. These other two cards, all right, wand energy and sword energy, those are not tangible things. Swords are about what's inside your own head. Wands are about what is, you know, fueling your action, like what's motivating you, all right? What the, you know, gas in the car is trying to get you towards, basically, the spark, like the desire that you have to get up and get out of bed in the morning, your will to live, whatever. <clears throat> all right, well, those things on the inside, despite this face of the emperor that they're trying to put out to everybody else, what they're really feeling on the inside is, you know, they cannot let this go. They can't, you know, stop thinking about this. They can't escape you. It doesn't matter how many lands they go out and conquer, how many times they become the emperor. You know, <clears throat> look, he's even holding this big, like, oh, it's not a sword, but I thought it was. I read art, whatever. All right, look from, look from the background. Does it not look like he's holding a sword in his hand? Uh, 
no, that's the curtain, all right? But Ragnar's there with his boat with all those swords. I, I saw it and I was like, he wields that sword every time. There's blood all over this guy's crucifix. He has, this person is very unscrupulous, all right? They don't do things by the book. Um, they're, I'm Italian, all right? You're not gonna make me feel some kind of way. My family's all Sicilian and Calabrese. Um, <clears throat> this person cooks books, all right? This person is a creative accountant, if you say that. They have a lot of blood on their hands, all right? They don't do things, you know, <laughs> above board. They're ruthless, all right? They are Trump energy. Like, they are, like, uh, ruthless in their pursuit of getting ahead. But at the same time, the fact that they can't make this work the way that they want it to work is really pissing them off. They're showing a poker face very much because I feel like that's their persona. I have a very specific, like, feel and, like, feel of your person right now. They're either, you know, they, I feel like they either came from either extreme poverty or extreme wealth. <clears throat> I feel like they have, you know, very, it, it's two ways here, all right? They either had absolutely nothing growing up and had to fend for themselves, so they have that poverty mentality, so they're scared all the time about, you know, scarcity mentality. They're terrified to not have resources, so they kill themselves, all right, to make sure that they'll always be good. Or, all right, they had that super rich, emotionally disconnected parents that, you know, they're on some, oh, you screw my daddy's money type thing. I'm going to prove to them I can be better. I'm like chasing their tail in circles. Uh, I did, they just have like a really unhealthy attachment to work, success, and money. They have a, a really, you know, they got a lot of shit going on in their second house, I feel like birth chart wise or you might be dealing with an actual Taurus or somebody you know ruled by Venus they got really weird Venus placements <clears throat> specifically I feel like Venus and Uranus are conjuncting in or you know squaring in a weird way um what are they telling everybody is their next intention towards Sag that one was spinning around the three of pentacles page of cups in reverse all right they're not apologizing flat out okay <laughs> they're not gonna work on their delivery whatsoever here if you were planning on you know if you were wanting this person to work on opening up and having you know more feel-good conversations that ain't gonna happen all right they're not gonna do that um they are shocker okay <laughs> throwing themselves back into some more work okay um, their intentions right now, what they're telling people that they're planning on doing right now is three of pentacles energy, which is like, you know, gathering with colleagues, you know, exchanging notes, like, um, sharpening your skills, getting ready to go invest in something, um, that with the, uh, page of cups in the reverse, they're not entertaining any romantic options. They're not, you know, looking for dates. They're not, you know, trying to win anybody over. They're not speaking emotionally at all. They're throwing themselves into work. <clears throat> I mean, it's just three dudes hanging out, like trying to build a chapel. <laughs> they're not out partying. They're not, I mean, cause they know what they want. They're king of wands. Like he knows what he wants. <clears throat> Two of cups, of course he does. That's the intention that they're hiding. That's what they're not telling people. So I just ask, you know, what they're telling people their next intention is towards you. And what they're telling everyone, you know, their intentions are just throw themselves into work and, you know, not even bother with this, not even have a conversation with you. No apologies needed. Just act like it didn't happen. Go about our day, clock back in and you, it's good. But underneath everything, two of cups. With the five of wands, they're so damn conflicted about that. They don't like how he feels. All right, I feel like you're talking like, it's like a, I keep getting like Capricorn energy and, you know, Aquarian energy, Taurus energy, big, I get big fixed energy, Leo, you know, big fixed sign energy. <clears throat> Where they have like their son is placed in, you know, one of those fixed sign houses, like eighth or something like that. Second. 
I just get a lot of second house activity. This person is very laser focused, all right, on what everything looks like and making sure that they have the best of everything and that they're never going to be without and that they can always provide and that everyone will always respect them. They feel like respect is gained through finances. They are not speaking to you. I'm gonna tell you right, they're not speaking to you. That is so messed up. There's that devil, I felt him. I felt him, look, that's who I was picturing. That's your person. Their devil energy, all right, their attachment, you know, their toxic shit that they need to get rid of is like they're addicted to success. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. They're disconnecting from you, all right? And they're doing it on purpose. Queen of Swords is here. What they're doing here, their intentions, what they're gonna do, they're gonna feed that devil, all right? They're gonna feed that devil, that need for that money, the need to you know feel like they're winning at something because they're losing at this. They're so conflicted about that Two of Cups and the Five of Wands right there. So conflicted about the fact that there's feelings here. So they're gonna, you know, literally, all right, when somebody has a harsh, harsh truth, all right, that they need to realize, They've got two options. They can either accept that harsh truth and go through that painful realization that they're supposed to have and do some growth as a human, or they can run from that truth by feeding the devil. And that's what they're gonna do. Uh, especially through Capricorn season. I'm telling you right now, they're definitely not speaking to you during Capricorn season. They're so focused on money. Uh, good news is I don't think they're, you know, talking to anybody else. You got the page of pentacles that came out in reverse here to go along with that page of cups in reverse they're definitely not coming your way for a conversation they're not they're telling people that i mean that's what they're telling people i don't know what they're actually going to do what they're what they're saying and what they do is not always the same thing all right but they are feeding devils so i don't you know i don't believe this first of all devil's a liar so everything they're telling everyone is a lie they're telling everyone what they want to hear or what they feel like they need to say to keep up the appearance that they need to keep up person is all about appearances and they show a king of swords energy and a king of wands energy and like um they they, they lock it down <laughs> was that wedding crashers lock it down lock it down <laughs> like tell them to shut up but the truth of the matter all right inside queen of swords how they're feeling on the inside because you know queens are internal energies they represent you know our emotional state and things like that their emotional state they're sitting in is like the queen of swords okay so they're they know the truth of the matter they understand, you know, they've got clarity. Um, they know the right thing to do and the rational thing to do. They're also, you know, being very unemotional. But what they, what do they know the truth about? Knight of Cups. They want to come towards you. They want to, you know, sweep you off your feet. They want to be that mushy, romantic person. Look, there's the Fonz. They're too cool for school. They're too cool for that, all right? The Fonz was not a romantic one. I mean, he had his moments, all right? But, like, he was known for being aloof and standoffish. He had an image to maintain your person all right he's got an image to maintain just like the fawns did fawns couldn't be caught looking soft <clears throat> so they're just gonna leave aquarian energy with that alien stuff yeah three of wands double leave quickly seven of wands chariot chariot in reverse they leave but they're not gonna go very far they're also not protecting themselves from anything because you know what they're running towards is that devil bullshit yeah magician in the reverse they're just being manipulative, you know, two of uh, wands in the reverse. They're being stupid because they can't have their way. They're not happy with the situation. So instead of, you know, making a conscious choice to go in a different direction, they're falling back on old ways to what they know. And look, Ace of Cups, I'm crying about it. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, because they're still gonna be attached to you. Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, both in reverse with the four of wands, all right? They're not gonna be able to let go of that idea. It's always gonna be in the back of this person's mind. Look, I feel like, yeah, 10 of swords in the reverse after that. Anywhere this person goes, all right, this, this shit is gonna follow them, all right? Look, he's out here having this fancy business dinner or whatever, he or she, whoever, they got all their business papers on the thing, they got, they got a wedding ring on, but there's this picture behind them all right, crying these tears like that and this letter and this piece. There's always going to be this nagging in the back of their head to like come back and make it right with you. There's always going to be a regret that they didn't sign that contract. It's like, look at all the contracts on the table. 
But like, what about this one? All right, that will bring you peace of mind, not pieces of paper. <laughs> they don't even see it, all right? Like this person, that, that might as well be the Four of Cups. This Ace of Cups to me looks more like the Four of Cups <clears throat> as a reader. So that's why y'all watch me. I read the art. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Tune in tomorrow for your 11, 11 a.m. message and new deck unboxing for 25 days of tarot. If you guys want a personal description box below. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye, Sag.